Brain Slides Top Medicinal Plants in the Philippines Banaba or Giant Grape Myrtle Scientific name, Agarstrawinia speciosa Banabai's herbal remedy, extracted from the leaves of Lagerstroenia speciosa, a tree native to Southeast Asia. Its leaves and flowers contain scorosolic acid, an insulin-like effect that lowers blood sugar. It also have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It is rich in vitamins, minerals, and dietary fibers, which is good to use for weight loss. Banaba is a natural remedy that is used for kidney disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, urinary tract infections, metabolic syndrome. Banaba can be prepared as a tea by brewing the leaves and flowers. Banaba preparations for making a tea. Step 1. Add 2 teaspoons of the dried banaba leaves or flowers to a tea infuser. Step 2. Bring 2 cups of boiling water and pour it to dried banana leaves or flowers. Step 3. Let it sit for at least 3 to 4 minutes before straining, adding lemon and serving hot. Tawa Tawa, or asthma plant, scientific name, Euphorbia hirta. It is a plant that grows all over India, Asia, Australia, Africa, and other parts of the world including US. It grows in open areas with lots of grass and even alongside roads. Its leaves and stems are most commonly used for tea, but for some certain applications, roots are used. Tawa Tawa is a natural remedy that is used for asthma, bronchitis, dengue, helps immune system, high blood pressure, antidiuretic, decreases urine output to prevent dehydration, antibacterial, and antifungal. Tawa Tawa Tea Preparation Step 1 Wash 100 grams of whole tawa tawa plant, including the roots and boiling half liter or 500 ml of water, for at least 15 minutes. Step 2. Strain the concoction, let it cool, and serve. Yerba buena or hierba buena or me. Scientific name, Clinopodium douglasi. Yerba buena or hierba buena is a Spanish name that translates as good herb and it belongs to the mint family. It is native to Europe and introduced by the Spaniards to the Philippines that is now widely cultivated. It possesses aromatic properties and flavors that is widely used in varieties of cuisine. Its leaves and stems are used for remedy purposes. Yerba Buena is a natural remedy that is used for asthma, cough and colds, vein reliever or headache, abdominal pain, diarrhea, bad breath, insect bites, weight loss, nausea, and menstrual cramps. Yerba Buena Tea Preparation Step 1. Dry the leaves for about 2 weeks. Step 2. Crush the leaves into pieces. Step 3. Put a tablespoon of Yerba Buena to 1 cup of boiling water and let it seep for at least 30 minutes and strain the leaves. Yerba Buena Inhaler Preparation Step 1. Boil 10 fresh leaves to a bowl of water. Step 2. Let the water cool for a bit so the vapor is not too hot for inhalation. Step 3. Inhale the vapor. Chaangubat or scorpion bush. Scientific name, Eritia microphylla. Chaangubat is a shrub that grows wild in the tropical climate of India, Sri Lanka, and Philippines. Chaangubat is known as the wild tea, forest tea, alibuyog, putputay, and maraged in the Philippines. It is also cultivated as an ornamental plant as single plant or hedge, recently gaining popularity as bonsai in China and Japan. Chaangubat is a natural remedy that is used for body cleanser, diarrhea or LBM, mouth gargle, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, skin allergy or eczema. Chaangubat Tea Preparation Step 1. Wash the leaves in a clean water. Step 2. Chop the leaves to desirable size and boil in 2 cups of water. Step 3. Make sure that you boil 1 cup of chopped leaves in low heat for 15 to 20 minutes and drink. Drink as tea daily. Niog Niogan or Rangon Creeper 
scientific name Quisqualis indica L. Neogniogan, also known as Chinese honeysuckle, is a large climbing woody shrub that is native in Southeast Asian countries including the Philippines, India, Myanmar, and Malaysia. Its fragrant flowers exhibit varying colors from white, red, reddish purple, pink red to orange. It has edible fruit that tasted like almonds when mature. Neogniogan is a natural remedy that is used for headaches, diarrhea, fever, dysuria or painful urination, antihelminthic, or natural dewormer. Nyungniogan Tea Preparation Step 1. Put 1 tablespoon of cut flowers of Nyungniogan in 2 cups of boiling water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Step 2. Strain the leaves. Step 3. Let it cool and drink a cup 2 to 3 times a day. Acapulco or Ringworm Bush Scientific name, Casilla Alata Acapulco is abundant throughout the Philippines in settled areas at low and medium altitudes. The Acapulco leaves contain chrysophanic acid, a fungicide that is used to treat fungal infections like ringworms, scabies, and eczema. Acapulco is a natural remedy that is used for scabies, insect bites, antifungal, analgesic, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory. Acapulco Ointment Preparation Materials Fresh chopped leaves, vegetable oil, candle or sperma number 5, frying pan, strainer, ointment jars. Step 1. Fry the chopped leaves until crisp. Step 2. Strain and add a grated candle to the oil. Step 3. Heat over low heat until the wax is melted. Mix well. Step 4. Transfer to ointment jars before the mixture hardens. Pansit-pansitan or olasimang bato or clear weed. Scientific name, Peperomia pellucida. Pansit-pansitan is a common rooted herb that grows to about 15 to 45 centimeters in height in damp and lightly shaded areas. The entire plant is edible, both cooked or raw. Pansit-pansitan is a natural remedy that is used for gout, arthritis, anti-inflammatory, sore throat, diarrhea, prostate problems, high blood pressure, wounds or burns, renal problems, and abdominal pain. Pansit-pansitan tea preparation Step 1. Wash and chop the plant parts. Step 2. Add 4 cups of water for every cup of pansit-pansitan. Step 3. Let it boil for 10-15 to 15 minutes with the pot cover removed. Step 4. Let it sift then strain. Drink half cup of pansit-pansitan tea three times a day. Lagundi or five-leaf chase tree. Scientific name, Vitex nagundo. Lagundi is large, native shrub that grows in Asia and Southeast Asia such as the Philippines and India. Lagundi plant can grow up to five meters tall. One of Lagundi's distinctive features is its pointed leaves with five leaflets set like a hand. Lagundi is a natural remedy that is used for coughs, asthma, promotes healing of wounds, relieves anxiety, eczema, analgesic, and higher cholesterol. Lagundi Tea Preparation Put a half cup of chopped fresh lagundi leaves in two cups of boiling water for 10 to 15 minutes. Administer a half cup three times a day. Bayabas leaves or guava leaves Scientific name, Psidium guajaba. Bayabas or guava is a fruit-bearing shrub or small tree that grows in the tropical climate like Mexico, Peru, and the Philippines. Its fruit is rich in vitamin C and vitamin A. It was usually eaten while still green and hard. It has value in herbal medicine for its antiseptic property. Guava leaves is a natural remedy that is used for Natural antiseptic for wounds, diarrhea, antioxidant, and anti-cough. Guava leaves astringent preparation. Step 1. Gather and wash guava leaves. Step 2. Boil 1 cup of guava leaves in 3 cups of water for 8 to 10 minutes. Step 3. Strain and let cool. Wash affected areas 2 to 3 times a day. To use as mouthwash, gargle. Malunggay or horseradish tree. Scientific name, Moringa olifera. 
Malunggay is a popular plant known for its high nutritional value as well as an herbal medicine. Malunggay is a plant that grows in tropical climates such as the Philippines, India, and Africa. Malunggay is a natural remedy that is used for increased milk production in nursing mothers, antioxidant, boost immune system, skin rejuvenation, high blood pressure, diabetes, relaxant, source of calcium, and used to combat malnutrition. Malunggay Food Preparation Malunggay leaves, pods, and flowers can be cooked together with other vegetables and meat to form soups and viands. Malunggay Tea Preparation Step 1. Pick 4 to 5 branches from the tree. Step 2. Place them on a tray and leave for 3 to 4 days until the leaves dry up. No need for sunlight. Step 3. Pick out the leaves from the twigs and place in a dry pan over a low fire. Step 4. Cook the leaves until they are toasted. Don't burn. Step 5. Take the tablespoon of cooked leaves and place in a cup of hot water. Step 6. Let sit and remove the leaves from the cup. Step 7. Add honey. Bawang or garlic, scientific name, Allium sativum. Bawang is native to Central Asia and is a frequent seasoning in Asia, Africa, and Europe. Bawang has been treasured for its medical properties for centuries. The plant grows up to 2 feet in height and pollination occurs only by insects and bees. According to most folklore, the use of bawang repels vampire and in ancient times, Greek and Roman soldiers ate bawang before going to war. Bawang is a natural remedy that is used for high blood pressure, anti-inflammatory, antifungal, controls blood sugar and cholesterol, epilepsy, toothache, poor digestion, good source of vitamins A, C, protein, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Bawang preparation can be fried, roasted, or soaked in the vinegar for 30 minutes or blanched in boiled water for 5 minutes. Take two pieces three times a day after meals. For toothache, pound a small piece and put to affected part. Ampalaya or bitter gourd or bitter melon, scientific name, Momordica charantia. Ampalaya is a year-round vegetable that is widely cultivated in the Philippines for its bitter edible fruit. Ampalaya is a climbing pine that grows up to 5 meters with tendrils up to 20 centimeters. Ampalaya leaves are heart-shaped, 5 to 10 cm across, cut into 5 to 7 lobes. Each plant pairs separate male and female flowers. Ampalaya is a natural remedy that is used for diabetes type 2, analgesic, eye problems, weight loss, antioxidant, cholesterol control, hemorrhoids, and boosts the immune system. Ampalaya tea preparation Step 1 Cut or crush a cup of ampalaya seeds, leaves, and flowers. Step 2. Boil in 4 cups of boiling water for about 4 to 5 minutes. Step 3. Let it cool and strain. Drink a cup 3 times a day. Ampalaya Food Preparation Green fruit and young leaves of ampalaya are cooked mixed with meat. To lessen the bitterness of ampalaya fruit, wash or even boiled in water with salt. Sambong or Blumea camphor, scientific name Blumea balsamifera. Sambong is a shrub that grows wild in a tropical climate countries such as Philippines, India, Africa, and found even in eastern Himalayas. Sambong is an aromatic shrub that grows from 1 to 4 meters in height. It is considered as a weed in some countries and is difficult to eradicate. Sambong is a natural remedy that is used for kidney problems, dissolution of kidney stones, high blood pressure, anti-cancer, antifungal, antibacterial. Sambong Tea Preparation Step 1. Gather fresh sambong leaves, cut in small pieces and wash with fresh water. Step 2. Boil 50 grams of sambong leaves to a liter of water. Step 3. Let it sip for 10 minutes. Step 4. Remove from heat and drink while warm. 4 glasses a day for best results.